we are flying in conditions that we have never experienced before. This uh, virus, it's, it's like an enemy. You, you have an enemy there and you need to fight. My name is Antonio Seftimiu. I've uh, been working for HiFly since uh, 2010. Flight Operations Manager for HiFly Limited and I fly the A330, A340 and A380. Most of us could never believe that uh, in a few weeks there would be a total uh, a global uh, lockdown. I saw this from, from two, 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 two sides, from the planning side as flight operation manager I was uh, uh, responsible for the planning of these flights. A very, let's say, strong experience altogether, I would say strong experience altogether. It was very impressive how all the departments worked together for hours, for days, to do everything correct and uh, to make this happen. We were pioneering, we were one of the first uh, companies that uh, went to China and uh, brought people out uh, and this is very important. So how we felt? We felt good, I, I felt proud, I felt very good that my company, I always try to put myself in the position of the other person that, that is involved in this. The first thing you want to be is to be home. And they were uh, in, a, in a foreign country, away from their uh, families, away from their uh, loved ones, away from their, let's say, area of comfort, which is our home, whatever that home means. What used to be a routine in the past, it's extraordinary now. You go to a country, whatever country that is, the hotels are empty. You are the, sometimes we are the only occupants of the hotel. There is no food. They provide us food bags. Our crews arrive from, uh, from long flights and there is, uh, they have to stay in quarantine. All the crews are willing, everybody is willing to do these flights and uh, I believe that says it all. High Fly was there and we, we were operating these flights and we, I believe we made the difference uh, at the point. Everything changed in the planning phase, it's the, the, in the same way, because all this needs to be planned, needs to be planned correctly. It's a challenge because uh, it's a very dynamic situation and, and conditions uh, change uh, hourly, I would say. And, uh, and it's, uh, it's not easy, it is challenging, but the notion and the feeling that we are doing something that is well needed, and uh, that says it all. Uh, both challenging and rewarding. We help people in our way, which is a very important way, and uh, is the ability to fight his fight at his own grounds. This uh, virus, it's, it's like an enemy. You, you have an enemy there and you need to fight. So yes, it is a mission and a very demanding one, actually. I'm proud to be part of this team, especially now, because we are one of the first companies to do the repatriation flights, and we created procedures that are proven good. The industry followed us in us, which is important. Uh, we are flying in conditions that we have never experienced before. We arrive or depart from empty airports. The skies are empty. It's, it's a sad picture that you would never uh, uh, imagine that it would happen. You fly a 12-hour 12, 12 flight and you are the only one actually talking in the radio. You hear nothing for, uh, for 12 hours, you can hear four or five aircraft. So uh, definitely it's, uh, it's uh, demanding uh, psychologically. And then you go back home from a flight like this that you are exposed in, uh, in uh, you need to stay away from your family, you need to stay away from your loved ones and uh, it, all together it is very demanding and, and I believe things are, are going to be different from uh, now on. But it's, it's a one day at a time, we need to focus, we need to try to do the things as better as we can. We need to be humble, we need to understand that there's always something that can change in a day and learn from each day how to treat the next day.